Well, good morning. It's still morning here, barely. It's about well, just a few minutes before noon. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, it's April the eighth, so it's like day eight of the, our little experiment. Uh, I think it took a total flop, to be honest with you. I'm standing here looking at the hives, the the mating nukes that I had uh, populated the other day. Uh, I don't see anything going in and out, any activity on front of those. I see lots of activity on the other hives. Uh, so uh, those three uh, mating nukes may have absconded and gone back to their respective hives. So uh, uh, we're going to get into the mating nukes first, see what kind of mess I got in there. Um, if there's still any bees in there, which I hope they are, uh, I hope I'm going to have to start from uh from step one all over i hope there's a, a few bees in there that can <clears throat> that can take some eggs uh and make a queen because that's probably what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna uh, get into those uh and if there's there's not any queen cells which i don't think there's gonna be i mean we're eight days into it they should they should be if not capped almost capped uh so uh we're halfway from you know we would be halfway from a a, a live queen so uh, i'm gonna go through those and then see what they have and i'm probably gonna go and i'm gonna go through the the other hives the the big hives uh doing inspections and uh probably if i can find a good frame of eggs i mean a really good frame of with a lot of eggs uh, i'm going to uh, take and, and try this again um and also probably what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, I have some of the uh, Nico or Nicot uh, queen ring system frames. I got a couple of those in the hive. They've been in there for a while. I mean, it's not like I just put those in there. So they should, they should smell like the hive. They shouldn't have any trouble taking to those. Um, <clears throat> they hadn't uh, started uh, drawing any comb on those frames last time I looked. So hopefully now they, they're starting to draw some comb. On those, uh, I'm going to confine uh, confine the queen, one of the queens, to one of those uh, frames today. Let her lay in that today and tonight, and then tomorrow I'll come back and I'll release her. And in three or four days, I'll come back and and maybe see how we're doing as far as uh, having larvae in in any of those cups. So, but anyway, um, we get started and we get my stuff on okay here we are at the uh the mating nukes i see a bee or two flying around but i don't see anything that tells me there's still a colony inside though so i'm gonna we're gonna try we're gonna try to see what we got here let me see if i can tilt that down a little more all right this first one I don't know. Oh, there's a whole colony in there. Yeah. They're cool. Well, that makes me a little feel a little better anyway. And I don't know if they've, they're actually uh, drawing any comb or not. Let me give them just a puff or two of smoke. see if there's any well they're drawing some comb because they've bridged between the comb the the frame and the box so that's uh, they still aren't drawing out this frame that's very they're festooning on it but it's very disappointing um, no queen cells at all so this this bunch is getting another uh, at least they've uh, At least they've cleaned out the uh, well most of the sugar water they put up 
so I might be able to might be able to feed this bunch again try to stimulate them into drawing out that comb but at least there's an actual colony that calls this home now. So, I'm going to put this. There for now. Alright. Go into the other one. Oh, that one's... They've absconded, it look, looks like, from this one. Yeah, they have absconded. There's one or two bees, and I think they're just robbing out what's left over. Holland patty. So we'll need that later. That one's the one who actually that actually started drawing out a little bit of comb. Huh. Look at here. This is um this is kind of unnerving. Looks like they starved out their head down inside the the cells, but I, they've only that one actually had a little bit of left over in there. So all this brood is going to be dead. Uh, that's just, I hate that. I really hate that. So all that brood's going to be dead. This is a dead out, and this was my fault. I don't know if they froze out or they starved out. Looks like they starved out. There's a few bees down in the box, if you can see that. There's a few bees there. So that one's starved out, I guess. Well, shoot. I don't know if the bees will clean that one out if I put that in another hive. That's, that's just not, not what I wanted to see. So I need to, I need to feed that other one for sure. And this is the same way. They had some, they had been putting up some honey, but or some, some nectar, but they, uh, I guess they didn't put it up, put enough up for the few days that I was, that I hadn't got in there. Yeah, see there's, there's dead, yeah. There are, now that one's going, that one's going to the chickens. That one's got uh, some sort of larva in it. Some, not the good, not the good kind either. So that one's going, golly. Well, I messed that up. Yeah, there are bees in there. And I didn't even bring my doggone power drill to, uh, to take those off the stands. So, well, all right, I gotta make a phone call and see if somebody can bring me a, a power drill or uh, a, uh, or an impact driver. All right, well, I'm gonna 
try to fix this mess and I'll be back. Whew. Howdy, I'm back. Okay, I went through those hives. Uh, you saw how bad it was. Two of them, I guess, just starved out. I repopulated them with uh, another frame of bees and uh, some eggs. The other one I gave a, a frame that was just full of eggs and really, really young larvae. Uh, so it ought to do good. I hope, anyway. Um, Alright, in uh, the, the hive on the left there, um, it... Uh, what I did, I, I, I put that queen up in the Nico or Nikot or whatever that um, that frame uh, in that box so she could start laying tonight. I'm gonna go and come in here tomorrow sometime and let her out. Give it a few days and then we'll see how that works. The other one, the, the one that I wanted to use the uh, cloak board method, uh, I went ahead and set it up. I haven't, um, you know, shook bees down into, you know, up into the top box or whatever you know I hadn't done any of that but i got it set up so uh, uh maybe i can do some grafting or when i get these uh the, the nicot um queens if they get if i get something started there i can do that the other two hives look good i mean they're um they're strong they're getting stronger every day i had to put some queen excluders on them because the queen is going up into the the honey supers and laying uh, I mean, she had filled, one of them had filled up the, the honey super, so uh, I had to put queen excluders on all of them. Uh, I couldn't video any of it because uh, my GoPro, uh, the, all the SD cards were full. I didn't realize they were full. And my phone overheated because it's black and it was out in the sun, so it wouldn't video. So uh, anyway, that's why I couldn't show it to you, but that's what I've done. It's just a little update. It'll come back tomorrow and let that queen out and uh, go from there.